This statement is made on behalf of 129 tribal nations and 21 associations of tribal governments in the United States. For the past two years, including by interventions offered at the 12th and 13th Annual Permanent Forums on Indigenous Issues, we have proposed four recommendations for action to achieve the objectives of the World Conference. Today, no country in the world opposes the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Yet, regrettably, seven years after its adoption by the UN General Assembly, the Declaration is having little effect on curbing violations of Indigenous Peoples' rights. We propose the following recommendations for inclusion in a concise, action-oriented outcome document to further the recommendations of uh, General Assembly Resolution 66 stroke 296. Number one, an implementing body for the UN Declaration. Decide to create an implementing and monitoring body with a mandate to promote and monitor implementation of the Declaration and to encourage compliance with the obligations expressed in the Declaration. Such a monitoring and implementation body should have a mandate to receive relevant information, to share best practices, to make recommendations, and otherwise to work toward the objectives of the Declaration. The body should be made up of expert members, including indigenous experts. The General Assembly should establish a process by which which would include in indigenous peoples representatives for elaborating the structure and mandate of such a body or mechanism at the earliest possible time. Number two, combating violence against indigenous women and children with three actions. Number one, decide to convene a high-level conference to examine challenges to the safety and well-being of indigenous women and children and to share perspectives and best practices on the realization of the rights of indigenous women and children under the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples with respect to protection against all forms of violence and discrimination. Number two, decide to require that a UN body for monitoring and implementing the Declaration give particular attention or at least on at least an annual basis to the rights and special needs of indigenous women, youth, and children in the implementation of the UN Declaration. And number three, decide to appoint a special rapporteur to focus exclusively on human rights issues of indigenous women and children, including but not limited to violence against them and on changing state laws that discriminate against them. Number three, recommendation number three, an appropriate status for indigenous peoples within the United Nations. Create an, a distinct and appropriate status for indigenous peoples within the United Nations system in order to regularize and facilitate the participation of indigenous peoples in the work of the United Nations. Such a status within the UN system must give appropriate recognition to indigenous peoples represented by their own governments. The Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues or the Expert Mechanism on Rights of Indigenous Peoples in consultation with states and indigenous peoples should be given responsibility for elaborating a resolution on this matter for adoption by the General Assembly at the earliest possible time. Recommendation number four, action to protect rights to religious and cultural places. Take priority action to protect indigenous peoples' rights to their religious and cultural sites and recommend particularly that the World Conference request the, high, the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, the Human Rights Council, the Expert Mechanism on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the Special Rapp Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the UN Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, and the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues gather and share relevant information and best practices, conduct expert meet, uh, meetings and interactive panels, prepare studies, issue reports, and make concrete recommendations for the implementation of indigenous people's right to maintain, protect, 
and have access in privacy to their religious and cultural sites and to manifest practice develop and teach their spiritual and religious traditions customs and ceremonies the recommended implementing and mon monitoring mechanism for the un declaration when it is created should also give priority attention to the protection of indigenous people's religious and cultural sites similar recommendations have been made by other indigenous peoples and regions worldwide including but not limited to the alta outcome document we call on states to adopt these recommendations for inclusion in the outcome document by the world conference we also urge other indigenous peoples to join us in supporting the recommendations today authorized representatives of tribal nations w wish to offer interventions for each of our four priorities we respectfully request time permitting that your excellencies permit our representatives to offer brief interventions on each of our specific recommendations beginning with chief darwin hill of the haudenosaunee nation thank you mr president Anklang Glashish, Glashish.